this is Amy with Cute Delicious Life and I wanted to make a really quick video just to jump on this train about the LaCroix drinks. There's a lawsuit um, claiming that the all natural flavorings that they are using are not all natural and contain chemicals and you know these chemicals are in question basically. Um, so I've done a little bit of research just reading it and, you know, mostly everyone just immediately panicked and thought, oh my God, they're giving us, you know, they're lying and they're putting this terrible chemical in the LaCroix. Then if you look deeper, you'll find some scientific studies types of different articles that will explain what the chemicals actually are and that some of these chemicals are actual found naturally. So it's not as bad as everyone's thinking it is, but at the same time, you know, I'm definitely a LaCroix drinker. I love LaCroix. My favorite flavors are the uh, peach pear and grapefruit. Those are my two favorite flavors and I'm still drinking them. They are so much better than the alternative, which was what I used to drink was Diet Coke. Um, I have reduced the amount of Diet Coke I drink so much from drinking LaCroix. So it's kind of, you know, lesser evil defeats lesser evil. You know, you, you kind of, which big evil defeats lesser evil type of thing. <laughs> so... Maybe if it turns out that the lawsuit comes forward and there is some bad chemicals in there, I'm sure the company will probably change it. Maybe they'll have to completely revamp and come out with a whole new name. Who knows? But it does say no calories, no artificial sweeteners, sodium-free. Let's see. I'm just looking. It says natural grapefruit flavored. And ingredients says carbonated water and natural flavor. So what's in question is the natural flavor that they were actually using. And so I'm anxious to see, um, I'm interested to see what comes of the lawsuit and what, you know, quantities of these chemicals are actually in here. I mean, I am not the cleanest keto person in the world, so I do allow certain things in my keto diet um, you know, that have replaced really bad things. For example, Diet Coke. This has replaced Diet Coke for me. Um, so for me, it's picking the, the lesser of those two evils at that point, if this is even bad. I mean, you know, lawsuits are happen every day and sometimes they're very frivolous and sometimes they're ridiculous and stupid. And this could just be another one of those. So I guess I'll just be interested to see what the outcome is of the court hearings and, you know, what's actually going to be done about it. And we'll find out if it's really good or bad. But until then, I'm going to continue drinking them because, like I said, it's a lot better than drinking Diet Coke. <laughs> so, anyway, thanks guys so much for watching. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you watch more of my videos. Thank you.